Hello everyone, Ellie Hawkman here with a Mustang update. Joining me today is my Mustang, who does not have a name yet. I do have a couple ideas for her and we'll decide on a name within the next few days. So today is day three of working with our Mustangs and they've all been showing great progress. My girl here is still pretty cautious of new people and things, but she started to get used to me being up close to her. I'm able to pet her face and shoulder, and she also let me braid her mane to keep it from getting tangled. I first introduced the halter to her in our session this morning, which we ended by her letting me put it on and take it off. When I came back to work with her again in the afternoon, she wore the halter during the whole session so she could get used to the feeling of it on her face while moving around. We've been playing with draw and having her come towards me off the rail to change direction, which she's gotten really good at. We then finish our afternoon session with a little bit of leading. We're a little bit behind the other competitors, but I want to take my time and make sure that I'm not rushing her since she's extremely concerned about new objects. But even her standing next to me right now while wearing her halter is a huge accomplishment. Enough about us though, let's see how the other competitors are doing. Hannah has been doing a phenomenal job with her Mustang and got the halter on her yesterday. They worked on leading today and her Mustang picked it up very quickly. So far, she's been very willing during the gentling process and will sometimes follow Hannah around while in her paddock to see what she's doing. Hannah also taught her Mustang to yield the hindquarters while online, which is an important first step that will come into play when she's introducing the pivot under saddle later. We've been joking about how she got a cheater horse since this mare is picking up on things so quickly. Hannah was also able to put a saddle pad on her today and free lunged her with it on to get her used to the feeling of it moving. She had also clipped the lead rope to either side of the halter to mimic reins flapping on her neck, and this horse wasn't phased a bit. She's very curious, and Hannah said that she's planning on introducing the saddle tomorrow. Emily has been busy with her youngster, too. She is leading wonderfully, and when Emily saw Hannah teaching her Mustang to yield the hindquarters, she decided to try it with hers, too. It took a bit for her horse to understand what she was asking, but they eventually got it and are doing a great job. In fact, Emily felt so confident that she took her Mustang for her first walk outside of the pastures and round pen today. This little gal trusts her handler so much that aside from taking a couple breaks to look around or sniff something, she followed her all the way to the arena and back without any problem. She's still a bit hesitant with other people, but she's very curious of objects and is getting less wary of me hanging out along the fence or coming into the round pen with them. Overall, all three horses have been doing a great job. I'm especially impressed with how quickly Hannah and Emily have progressed with their Mustangs in only three days. We've given ourselves a deadline of one week after pickup to choose names for our Mustangs, so keep an eye out for our week one update and name reveal.